Hi, I'm Mike. Today we've got quite a bit going on around the ranch as we continue with our removal of our existing corral system, getting ready to put that brand new AeroQuip system in here. We're recycling everything we can, so we've got to play a little nice with this stuff. We can't get too crazy. I'm going to show you how we remove some of those old Vern gates, also how we take out fence posts. Coming up, we're also going to talk about a brand new feature returning to the channel. I guess it's maybe not brand new, but it's a new style, and that is our daily vlog. That's going to be on the way starting in June, and Erin's going to come and tell you about a new program that she has on the way through the Edible Prairie Project. It's all coming up today on our Wyoming Life. <laughs> Those are our pigs. And thanks for coming along as we continue to explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. We've got a whole lot coming up this spring and we've been trying to figure out a way to bring people along with us. One of the biggest things we always hear is that people uh, want to live the ranch life. They want to live vicariously through us. And, and in order to do that, we started up a thing just uh, a month ago. That was our 30 vlogs in 30 days. That came across with a huge uh, amount of, um, I, you know, just people loved it. How about that? So we decided that we're going to continue on with that and we have a brand new type of vlog coming out uh, starting June 1st. So we want you guys to stick around for that. Uh, June 1st, we are going to start a daily vlog. We're going to tell you more about it coming up in the next week or so and uh, it should be a lot of fun. I can't screw around here too much though because I've got lots of stuff that needs to get done. Uh, I'm kind of on a timetable here because I need to get these corrals pulled out of here, the old corrals, get them completely removed and then um, get to installing the new AeroQuip system. We have to have this all done by branding but that's not the only reason we have to have it done. This is Peanut and that's Goliath. They are our bottle calves this year and normally at this time of year they would be living in the corrals. Uh, we don't have any corrals. I've been in the process of tearing them out. So they have been living in our yard and causing all kinds of ruckus. That's evidence of why the calves got to go. Oh look, there's some more over there. I had to clean poop off of Lincoln's foot today and Kenzie had it on her hands. <laughs> and that's why they need to go because Aaron says so. So we need to get the rest of these corrals tore out. And in order to do that, we're gonna need some equipment. Alarm goes on, friend, a quarter to five. Roll out of bed, rub the sleep from my eyes. Throw on a shirt and some jeans and my boots. And then it's time to make that morning dry. Work all day. Cycles complete. Work, sleep, repeat. Yeah, work, sleep, work, sleep. That's all I ever do is more. Sleep, work, sleep, work, sleep. Somewhere up the line, I forgot what I was working for. Yeah, there goes life. Looks like it ain't slowing down. Yesterday I was 17 Running boot lanes and drawers and screens Now I'm running a dead And I'm scrambling to make ends meet So work, sleep, repeat Yeah, work, sleep, work, sleep That's all I ever do anymore Sleep, work, sleep, work, sleep Somewhere up the line We've got a bunch of boars moved out of the way. And now our plan is we're gonna grab the tractor with the grapples, the bucket, come in and pick up a whole bunch of those posts and start getting them out of the way. Basically, we're just... So that's the plan. We're gonna go grab the tractor. Move on to station. Sometimes at work, I just sit around and fail Proud how I can save myself from dying. Roll out and be 
man run the street from my eyes Throw on a shirt and some jeans and my boots And then it's time to make that morning dry Sometimes stuff just breaks. Okay, so I built these corrals back in 2013, I think. And when I put them in, I really didn't know a whole lot about building corrals. I still don't really know a whole lot about building corrals. But um, when I did it, originally, I was just kind of working off of a set of plans. So I just kind of had to make things work. And one of the, one of the uh, things that I did was when I put in these gates, I drilled holes that were maybe just a little bit too small for the hinge part of the gate. In fact, if you remember back to the last gate that we hung, I think I actually said drill the hole a little bit bigger so that it's easier to remove the gate if you have to. Because we drill our holes a little bit bigger than needed, our threads slip straight through. The bottom thread first, which we then tighten all the way down until it's completely tight. So we have to try to remove these gates, uh, and I think in order to do it, we're gonna have to uh, use a little gentle persuasion. Now we get to try to remove a gate. Uh, this is actually a man gate, just a, a single person walkout gate. It's probably the smallest gate that we're gonna have to deal with, but uh, this is exactly what we're looking at. So we gotta try to get it out from the post where the hinges go in. And I can't budge it. See why I said make them bigger? Make the holes bigger. Next time, make the holes bigger. The bad thing about doing it this way is I'm boogering up all the, all the threads. What might be the easiest solution might be exactly what we're not going for, and that may be we might actually have to destroy this post in order to get this thing out without um, ruining the gate so what's more important the post or the gate obviously the gates worth a lot more money and somewhere down the road we can use it somewhere else so um, I think our best bet is to destroy the post in order to get the gate out so let's do that You might be wondering why I didn't pull off these cross beams, and that's because the screws are actually hidden behind the gate, so I wasn't able to get in there to take these screws out without getting the gate off first. And obviously, our plans have changed here. So we're gonna get the boards off of here 
and then we're going to see how we're going to split this this fence post. Hopefully, my, my hope is that maybe I might be able to do it with the grapples and that'll save a lot of trouble. Spinning the whole dang post around. But the boards are coming off. Kinda. When in doubt, BFH. There we go, that worked. Okay, so. We're gonna come at this thing this way and see if we can split this post. I don't know if we're gonna be able to, but we might be able to. If not, we'll just pull the whole darn thing out. We'll move it off to the side and then I'll split it later um, to get this gate off of here. Drill a bigger hole. So this is a three quarter inch bolt. I think I drilled a three quarter inch hole. Drill like 11 sixteenths or maybe even a little bit bigger. Is 11 sixteenths more than three quarters? Whatever. Drill a bigger hole. Save yourself all this trouble. Okay, well, obviously I'm not gonna be able to split it, so we're gonna have to come back and do it by hand, so we're just gonna throw this gate over here out of the way and uh, come back and get her later. All right, we'll get those gates off of there eventually and uh, salvage them and be able to reuse them somewhere. Shouldn't be too bad, a little chainsaw action. We'll get those right out of there. We are gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove the rest of these posts. We're gonna remove this section and then that will leave just this little part back here to take down. This corral right here we're still using for uh, broken leg mom, well, broken leg calf and, and uh, somewhat angry mom so they're still in there but uh, this will be going away here as well probably today and then um, yeah then we'll get back to it uh, i'm going to finish like i said i'm going to finish taking out the rest of these and then we're going to go find erin she should be at the farm store about now and check in with her and see what she has going on uh, for epp and a little bit of a fundraiser there that you guys can help out with and still and get something out of too so uh, we're going to go check in with her and then we're going to talk a little bit about what we have coming up for the new daily vlog. Stick around. <music> fun all right so a few more posts a few more boards to take off and then uh, the next pla next part of the plan is to get this leveled out we're gonna go through and clean it all up with magnets and all that kind of good stuff and then uh, once we're leveled back out then we can start moving arrow equip stuff in that's gonna happen coming up but right now we're gonna head over we're gonna try to find Aaron uh, because I want her to tell you about a project that she has coming up with the Edible Prairie Project. Uh, with all this COVID stuff, uh, funding for nonprofits has actually been severely depleted uh, because they can't do the fundraisers that they normally do. They can't do dinners, all that kind of stuff. So basically, they've had to uh, kind of change plans on what they do for fundraising. I have no idea where the heck Aaron is at. We're gonna to try to find her here. Maybe she's in the grow room. Wait a minute. Nope, thought I heard the gator. Is she in the grow room? 
Hey, there she is. Hi there. I thought I was going to have to call you. What's up? So I'm wrapping things up here. Okay. I took out a whole bunch of posts and I took out boards and I did all, I don't want to hold this anymore. I'll clamp this up here. Okay. So I took out a bunch of boards, took out a bunch of posts. I can't get my gates out of the posts because I drilled the damn hole too small. So I'm gonna have to like cut posts or split posts or something. So I'm pulling posts and gates out all at once and I'll deal with those later. Um, you can't unbolt them? I can, but the bolt, the, the, there's that post, yeah. you know, that, that pin or whatever yeah. the hell you want to call it, all thread yeah. that goes through, it's too tight. So I, and if I whack on it too much with a hammer, then I'm going to screw up my threads. Yeah, you need so to. I need to just sacrifice a post to get the gates. And some of the gates are screwed up anyway. They're completely yeah. trashed, but we'll talk about that They're later. They're custom gates custom. made by your cows. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. So anyway, I was talking to these guys about um, EPP okay. and how because of Corona crap, uh, we, <laughs> that's, what it. that's what I call it. Um, we, you can't do any fundraising basically. So you've yeah. come up with a very interesting way to do a fundraiser that actually includes everybody on the channel, pretty much everybody in, in anyway. on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yes, we have unfortunately lost fundraisers because we cannot hold in-person gatherings of more than 25 people. And depending Is that on what we're up to 25 now? Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> we're up to 25 in Wyoming. Um, so yes, we've lost fundraisers and we really have no idea what the future brings, right? So we have events planned for this fall, like Ranch Roundup, where there's a silent auction. We have a farm to table dinner planned, a prairie to table dinner planned in October. We really have no idea if any of that is going to be able to happen, unfortunately. So we are pivoting and adjusting and still trying to fundraise because um, our summer weekend meals for kids program that provides weekend food bags for kids during summertime when they're not in school. <laughs> not that anybody's in school, but um, <laughs> we have seen an increase in demand. So we are more than doubling that program from what we had anticipated when we fu started fundraising last November. So our plan was 150 kids a or 100 kids a week. We are now serving up to 250 kids per wow. week. Um, so we are rapidly trying to buy food and. Um, find community partners and fundraising and stuff. So we are hosting a cooking class online. Um, it'll be a private YouTube link. Um, EPP is going to make a YouTube channel <laughs> to stream that. Uh, uh, you might, we might not need to talk about that because we might not be able to do that. You can't live stream until you have no. like 30 days on YouTube. <laughs> so it might be on our channel. Edit that part out. <laughs> <laughs> so you get a private YouTube link. It'll be a private uh, live stream. So you'll be able to comment in real time. I'll be able to answer questions, but I'm going to cook. So we're going to cook um, a, a stir fry with some vegetables from the high tunnel, beef from the ranch, um, a few other ingredients, and some pantry staples that everybody probably has to right now so you, you can say what you're gonna cook because we talked about yeah it. I'm making a beef stir fry a beef and bok choy a steak and, and bok choy uh, stir fry and we're making um, a cocktail with pear vodka Ooh, you are telling people now <laughs> Uh, the the the, uh, the link is down in the description. You can hit that link and go sign up for the class. Exactly. Cost is thirty dollars. Which does what? It gets you the recipe. It gets you the ingredient list, and it gets you access to the the YouTube link when we create that. And more importantly, thirty dollars per uh, can actually feed one kid for six weeks. Six weeks yep. of weekend meals. Mm -hmm. That's yes. amazing. Yeah, and we're doing two breakfasts, two lunch, two dinners, two snacks, and one fresh fruit or vegetable, and those will be locally sourced once. Northeast Wyoming is in vegetable season. Cool. What are you doing in here? I'm planting microgreens. Sweet. We'll talk about that later. All righty, guys. Let's get out of Aaron's hair. Thank you, everyone, for signing up. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. We do appreciate it. It's, uh, it, it's just one of the little things that maybe we can help out with a little bit. Um, this program, it, while it is local right now, could very well um, turn into more. So the more that you guys can help, the better. Plus, you get to hang out with Erin, you get to cook with Erin, and she'll be cooking in real time. So uh, we can, you can schedule it and actually have that same meal uh, for dinner. You're going to get the ingredients list ahead of time, so you can go shopping or online shopping or whatever. That, send your kids, whatever you're going to do, and then uh, and then come back and and uh, and cook with Erin. So the corrals, they are. Dang near done. I'm so close. I can just taste it. I know that I, I'm, I'm going to be done here within the next day or so. Have everything completely cleaned out and hopefully um, 
be ready to move the AeroQuip stuff in by sometime next week is my plan. So, drop my glasses. This is what it looked like before. And if I can get the drone up in the air, I'll show you what it looks like now. Alrighty, that's it for me today. Uh, come back and join us on Sunday on the Beyond the Ranch channel. Just search for Beyond the Ranch or check it out. Check it out down in the description. Uh, that's our live stream channel. We have a live stream scheduled for Sunday at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. You can join us there. Get a chance to hang out. Find out more what's going to be happening with the return of the vlog. We're going to talk about that on Sunday and what our plans are there and what my plans are to be able to sleep during the damn thing too. So thanks a lot for hanging out with us. We'll see you once again. Be sure to subscribe. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook. Go to the website rwyominglife.com. Until next time, have a great week and thanks for joining us on our Wyoming Life. Wyoming Life.